Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Deb and today we're going to be making some hot dogs for some hot Italian sausage that I've got in the fridge for supper tomorrow. So let's get started. So I've never actually made this recipe before. I've never made hot dog buns, but I have made a lot of different bread recipes. So it calls for four cups of flour, spooned and leveled, but I'm not spooning it. I like to live on the edge. So four cups of all-purpose flour in the stand mixer along with two teaspoons of dry active yeast. I actually keep my yeast in the fridge. It definitely helps it last longer. A little bit more because I couldn't get it quite topped up. One and a half teaspoons of salt. Just cut my fingernails and it was hard to get that. Okay, then we want one tablespoon of sugar. A little bit of a whisk. And then we're gonna work on the wet ingredients. So we've got three fourths a cup of water in here and then it wants half a cup of milk up to one and one fourth would be half a cup. And it does want warm, so I'm just gonna stick this in the microwave for about 30 seconds and check the temperature. So I just usually check the temperature with my finger and if it's warm, then it's good. You don't want it too hot or it will kill the yeast. And then we're just gonna crack one egg in here. Squirt egg all over myself in the process. Before we add this to our flour mixture, I'm just going to give the egg a good whisk together. Make a mess. That's okay. It's all the fun cooking and baking, making messes. Instead of using a paddle attachment to mix it, I'm just going to pour my liquid in. And I'm just going to mix it with the end of the dough hook before I attach it and knead it for about five minutes. If you're interested in this recipe, you can check it out in the description. I will put a link to the original recipe. Hopefully it's good. We will find out tomorrow. Okay, so that's mixed up enough for me to attach this to the stand mixer. And we're just gonna turn it on and mix it for about five minutes. Maybe a little lower until the flour is mixed in a little better. <laughs> so it's been about five minutes. We're gonna add two tablespoons of butter. You can use oil as well. slightly tacky, not wet. If it's too wet, you just want to add a little bit more flour. So it's not even close yet. The butter is just still mixing in there at the bottom. Sometimes the KitchenAid has a hard time getting at the very bottom, but once it has that five to 10 minutes, it grabs it up and puts it into a nice ball. Since I've got time to kill, I do just clean up my mess with the flour and the egg, just to try and get every little second I can when I'm waiting for something to be done. Before I started this recipe, my dishwasher had just finished, so I'm gonna take some time and unload it while my dough still takes its time, getting all nice and perfect. A little tip for anyone um, who has pots and pans, they don't wanna get all scratched up. We just use these, they're liners for kitchen, uh, for the cupboards, so cups and plates and stuff will sit on them and I use them in between my pots and pans so that way they don't get all scratched up. So this one would go in here and this just goes right on top, prevents it from getting scratched. So let's have a look. It's been about eight minutes. You can see it's tacky but it's not sticky. Nothing is sticking to my finger. So that should be good. We're just going to take it off of the dough hook. 
And I just want to shake this a little bit with my hand in the bowl. And instead of dirtying another bowl to transfer this into, I'm just going to put some olive oil in there. And just coat the inside and then flip it to the side that I oiled. Try to get off as much as you can on the sides because they will get a little bit hard in the fridge. I'm just going to add a little bit more of the olive oil on the other side of the bowl. We're going to let this rest in the fridge overnight and then once I've done work tomorrow we'll be good to roll it out and make some hot dog buns. And the nice thing with the KitchenAid is that I've got this. I can just put this right on top and stick it in my fridge. So now it's all ready to go into the fridge and I will see you guys back tomorrow after work to cook these up. Hey guys, thanks for joining me again. I am all done work and gonna get started on supper. So I wanted to try this quick pickle onion recipe that I found online and I'll link it in the description as well as the hot dog buns that we're doing. But I've got this red onion that's been in my fridge for a little while and I need to get rid of it. So we're gonna attempt the quick pickle onion. I'm gonna give it a quick wash underneath of the water. And I've got my mandolin here set at 1 8 of an inch. You want it as thinly as possible to get that quick pickle happening as soon as possible. So we are going to slice this up. So this comes out pretty thin. So if you can see that, it's quite thin, so hopefully it will pickle nice and quick. I love mandolins. They're so quick. They're a death trap, but as long as you've got this, then you should be good. Just be careful. This is what I was storing the onion in in the fridge, so I might as well just reuse it. And the recipe calls for about half vinegar, half water. And we're gonna do a quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar. And a quarter of a cup of just white vinegar. And the rest we're just going to fill up. I'm just going to use some tap water. I think maybe I probably got a little bit more vinegar than water, but that's okay. And then I'm just going to add about a teaspoon of salt. The salt just kind of balances out all the tartness from the vinegars. Again, I'm just going to estimate about a teaspoon. And supper's not going to be for a little bit, so I'm just going to let this sit in the fridge and pickle up. I do quick pickling with cucumbers as well. Usually all I use is just the white distilled vinegar with some water and I just estimate that as well, but those are really good too. I really love eating those. So I'm hoping that the quick pickled onions are gonna taste just as good. We've got our dough that we started yesterday. And you can see it's puffed up quite a bit. So we are going to just do the roll and cut method. I don't feel like rolling each individual hot dog bun out and rolling it. So we're just going to do the roll and cut. So just want a little bit of flour on your work surface. Grab my rolling pin. And you can really make these the whatever size you want. The recipe says to roll it out to about 16 inches and maybe about four or five inches in um, width. But if you wanted, you know, really skinny hot dog buns, you just keep rolling. And it is cold. Get this out of the way. So this is gonna make 12 hot dog buns, which is way more than enough for what we're going to be eating. So I'll definitely be tossing them in the freezer and then I'll have some already made hot dog buns ready to go. 
This side's not as pretty, so it will be the bottom of the hot dog buns. But hopefully be even shaped. I'm not really too concerned about that, but you want them to cook at the same time and one not to be super small and the other one be super big because then it's just not going to cook evenly and you could have an overdone piece of hot dog bun. Okay, calls were 12, but I don't know, cutting this into 12, they seem like they'll be really skinny and I'm using it for sausage, so I think I'm just going to cut it 10 times, maybe. So that would be 10. I just indented it so that way I could kind of get an idea of where I'm going to be cutting my hot dog buns. Freaking fruit flies this time of year. Drive me nuts. Gotta wash my hands now. Okay. Back to business. Maybe about an inch apart. So if you were to do the cut into little balls and roll them up and then roll that out, they definitely would be more uniform. These are not going to be perfect. I'm not a master baker, but I do like to attempt to do some stuff. I might have picked too small of a pan. We're going to make it work. I'm not worried if they touch a little bit. Oh my goodness. Get out of here, you stupid fruit flies. They are just loving this bread dough. Okay, wash my hands again. Second time because of these damn fruit flies. I'm sure it won't kill me, but I'm a little crazy when it comes to, you know, hygiene when you're cooking. I changed my mind. The smaller ones that I cut the ends off, I'm going to actually roll them up and just see how they come out when I'm doing it this way. So the other method is to just roll it out. You can tell it's still cold because it's just really wanting to Bring back to itself. Put a little more pressure. Okay. So you can definitely, when you're doing this, it just really does not want to stay the shape. It just keeps trying to spring back. Kind of tuck the edges in a little bit. And just make sure that it seams side down. See, I think it might come out prettier, you know, a little bit harder work to get a prettier product. Might be worth it for some of you. Sometimes I just don't feel like making something so pretty when we're just gonna eat it. Maybe for like a dinner party or something, I'd go out of my way to you know, make things as pretty as possible. You wanna impress your guests. Perfect. Now we're just gonna let these rest for about 45 minutes. I'm gonna put a kitchen towel over top just to keep them from drying out and keep those pesky fruit flies away from my food. In about 15 minutes, we're gonna set our oven to about 350 degrees. So that way it has a good half an hour to heat up. You wanna make sure that your oven's at temperature before baking anything. So that way it comes out as best as it can. 
we will see you back in about 45 minutes. Okay, so we are back and it's probably been over an hour. It's about 73 degrees in here, which really isn't that cold, but it took a while for the buns to puff up a bit. So that's what they look like. And I definitely think that I should have cut them a little bit shorter. They're quite large, um, so that's okay. But next time we'll cut them a little bit smaller. And then I've got some egg wash here and I add a little bit of water to my egg wash. So that way, hopefully it doesn't taste too eggy. I don't really like when it's got like a ton of egg on top. I just find you can taste that egg flavor. So we are just going to baste all of our buns with the egg water mixture. And then I'm also going to do some with some sesame seeds. So I'll probably do half with sesame seeds and the other half without, just to see what it's like with and without. And now we're going to pop them in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until you tap the bottom and they sound kind of hollow on the inside. Okay, let's set our timer and we'll be back in about 15, 20 minutes. Okay, we're back and it's probably been about 25 minutes. I took these ones out a little bit sooner because they are smaller, so they ended up browning up and cooking a little bit faster, but I'm just ready to take out the other ones and they are definitely way longer than I was kind of anticipating, but they look beautiful and if you lift them up, sounds hollow and they look perfect. So like I said, they're a little bit skinnier. I think I would have preferred them. These are the ones that I had rolled out individually and then rolled again. And I think next time I'll do that just because of the shape that this one got. Like it's just more of a perfect hot dog bun as opposed to these ones ended up getting way too long. So they're quite skinny, but they'll still be as delicious. So. I'm not too worried about that. I am going to let them cool down. Supper's not going to be for a, another few hours. So we'll be back and I'll cook up the sausages and serve up supper. Okay, so I'm going to get these hot Italian sausages ready for the air fryer. And I'm just going to slice them a little bit down each one. While that's going, I'm just going to make a really simple carrot salad. It's really not going to be anything but carrots and dressing because I don't have many fresh produce in the fridge right now. So we will just get started on that while the sausage is cooking. This is all I have left of a bag of three shredded carrots. I just want to use them up. Add a couple tablespoons of olive oil, maybe a half a teaspoon of Dijon oh, mustard, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of vinegar, just a touch of sugar. I'm just putting some saran wrap around top of it and giving it a good shake. How that tastes. I'm use a little bit of spices. I'm just gonna put some into some garlic and salt. tastes a little bit better. I could definitely use some green onions, something like that. Like I said, I don't have it and I just want to get rid of this carrot that has been in the fridge for a little while. Okay, we're almost ready for supper. I just want to give these onions a bit of a try first. I'm a little nervous. 
We definitely could probably sit longer to develop the flavor a little bit more. Very interesting. <laughs> I think the recipe called for sugar, but I omitted it because I don't really like to add sugar to it. Um, so I don't with my cucumbers that I do. But it does taste like it could use a little bit of sugar. I'm going to dump just a little bit of this water out and add a tiny bit of sugar. Just adding a tiny bit more water to this and a tiny bit more sugar. I think it would probably taste better on top of something as opposed to just eating an onion alone by itself. Sausages are done. They only took about 15 minutes in the air fryer. I love the air fryer. They look so good. Nice and crispy. I really wish I did all my buns like this. These are the two that I did differently and they definitely fit the sausage a lot better. My other ones are way too long. Next time, now I know. You could just treat a sausage like a hot dog. Whoop. Put whatever toppings you want on it. I'm going to do some ketchup. And some mustard. I brought up some barbecue sauce in case my husband wanted the barbecue sauce. But there it is. Thank you guys so much for watching again. I hope you enjoyed this. Definitely check out the description for the recipes that I used in this video. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. I was just wrapping up the video. Totally forgot. I was supposed to take a bite of that bun and sausage. And I did. And then of course I was, I said, oh, whoops. Forgot to put the camera on. So let's take a bite. Hmm. It's really good. Um, the pickled onions, they aren't nearly as strong when you have them on something. They taste so much better. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.